Hello, itchy boy. Should we finish your haircut? Huh? You need a haircut and you need a bath and you need a rug on. Your rug should be dry now. Yeah, I know, you're all itchy, I know. Right, let's get you out and let's chop the rest of that hair off. Oh, you're grumpy. You're grumpy boy. some beast yeah blues managed to do something quite magical to his door like well you managed to get two screws out for a start yeah don't eat my camera trouble troublesome beast and um yeah he's just kind of you've just screwed it i think is the general term that's appropriate here isn't it you've absolutely screwed it mate <laughs> so i need to do something about this but get your whiskers out of the way i don't want to tug on your whiskers you donut there you go well, I'm not going to lie, Blue, you look absolutely disgraceful. Look at the state of you. He's really been rubbing himself. So we were hoping to avoid clipping him because it's just easier, but he doesn't cope well having a full winter coat. And also when he's in full coat, he sweats even with his sweet itch rug on. So yeah, and this is, this needs covering um, because, you know, Mohawk Pony is back, aren't you? Is it itchy? Yeah, I know. Right. So yeah, I clipped his belly out a couple of weeks ago because he was just absolutely dripping in sweat and we didn't want to, like, in my defense, we were going to tidy it up. Like we were going to turn it into like a trace clip, but I've since reached the conclusion that I'm just going to clip it all off. So I never bothered to go back and meet it up to do the trace clip. And I'm only just getting around to, you know, chopping the rest of it off. So he has looked like a bit of a twit for the last couple of weeks with his like, Literally just his belly chopped off, kind of like wonkily. <laughs> oh, and I shaved your chest out as well, didn't I, my darling? Yeah. It's kind of growing back already. You grow hair ridiculously fast. Why are you covered in scabs? Why are you so scabby? Why are you such a scabby beast? Oh, blue. So I have washed his rug the other day. That is hanging up in the garden. That should be drying out. And I'm just going to lob it all off. Lob it all off. Give him a really good bath. Get him all de-itched and then get a rug on him. And I have actually bought him a spare rug. So he's got a spare sweet itch rug now. Woody's got a spare sweet itch rug now. Um, obviously Woodster's just wearing a sweet itch rug. Like, I mean, it's basically like a big thick cotton sheet. So effectively Woodster is clipped and out in a cotton sheet and he's still warm. Like that's how crazy the weather is at the moment. So I'm gonna do the same with Blue. Hopefully he'll be a lot more comfortable like that. Like even touching him, like he's, like he's steamy hot, like, like he just, he can't cope with all this hair, especially with this mild weather we've been having. And like, I know arguably if it goes cold, we're gonna have to rug him, but eh, I just, just, it needs to go. It's causing him problems. It's driving him crazy. So I'm just gonna chop it all off and get covered in hair in the process. I really, I don't know why I bothered putting clean clothes on. I never learn. I, I go down in clean clothes and then clip and ruin clean clothes, but hey ho, never learn. Journey, journey. They're coming for you, Blue. You're not amused, are you? All right. <laughs> I don't think he was amused by my Jaws impersonation there. Lol. All right, let's see. let's get the butt fluff done first because this looks like it's annoying you, mate. Goodness, you can see how much he's been scratching it. Look how like messed up it is. This is gonna feel so much better. Oh dear, I think this isn't gonna go through it. Pretty good sign. He runs so hot, like he's such a hot horse. I mean, in the past, we've had him clipped, like in freezing temperatures, we've had him clipped and just in a lightweight necklace turnout rug, like a no-fill rug. And he's been fine like that, like he really does run hot. Look at that 
pretty book. Are you enjoying this? Huh? Is that good? Oh yeah. Whoa, what's the matter? Oh, you scared the life out of me then, Blue. I got a little adrenaline rush then, that really scared me. Goodness, look at it all. No wonder he's sweaty. Have you got a nice cool butt cheek now, darling, huh? Oh, you're such a good boy to clip, aren't you? My goodness, look at it all. That's just, wow. That's unbelievable, look at that, T. Look at it, no wonder he's itchy. I bet you're gonna stick your nose in it in a minute, aren't you? And it's gonna get all stuck around your snoot. All right. Shall I put these guys down somewhere and we'll crack on a little bit, yeah? Oh, is that a good itch? You're all scappy and itchy. I don't know why his skin is in such bad shape at the moment. Well, I do. It's because he's got his hair. Oh, look. You just don't get on well with hair, do you? You need to be naked. You're going to be a naked bunny. Yeah? Oh, is that really itchy? Oh, blue. Oh, yeah. That's that spot. You see it, bit. <laughs> Mate, that is the most attractive face I think you've ever pulled. Right. I'm going to put you guys down on my special secret camera holder. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's Blue's old shoe, by the way. I keep, I keep just leaving it out because I like to look at it sometimes. Like... That's, that's what hoof is left that came off with this shoe. So there was a much bigger chunk. Um, but yeah, it kind of got eaten by the dogs. Oh, hang on, I need to take that off. There you go, my super secret, amazing equestrian hack camera holder, which is perfect for holding my GoPro. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give my clippers a break for a few minutes. They're getting a little bit warm. Um, it's just because his hair is so dense. Um, it probably doesn't help that he's dirty as well, but it's like Woody was really dirty, but as I said, Woody's hair is long, but it's not that dense. Whereas Blue's hair is shorter. There's just so much of it. Like it's just so tightly packed in. It like, it comes off like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, look at it. Um, so, I don't understand why he's driving himself crazy itching. He seems to be covered in loads of scabs. Like, there's loads of little scabs here, look. 
and we've got some here and here. Like they're literally just dotted all over him. He's got a few on his chest here. Um, they're really itchy, aren't they? Yeah, they're really, really itchy. Um, I'm not 100% sure of what they are. He's had stuff like this before. It tends to flare up when we let his coat grow out. Um, like it was a bit of a gamble letting his coat grow out. Like I just, I think I need to just accept the fact that he needs to stay clipped all year round in order to keep his skin in good health and keep him comfortable. Um, he just doesn't cope well with having all that hair. Do you mate? No. Yeah, I'm not really sure what those scabs are. I don't know if they're sweet itch related or something else. Like he's quite a fungusy horse. Um, he does tend to get weird stuff on his skin. So I don't know, could be sweet itch related, could be something else. But once I've got the rest of him clipped off, I'm gonna give him a really good bath and the usual stuff. I'm gonna get the slosh wash out on him. So it'll be soap, a little bit of the castile soap. I use castile soap because it doesn't have any perfume or any weird stuff in it. Like it's really plain soap. So there's nothing in there that's gonna irritate him. And I'll put a big old glug of neem oil in there and I will put some benzoyl benzoate in there. <laughs> My label's literally disintegrated. That's quite funny. Um, the problem I have with the benzoyl benzoate at the moment is the fact that whilst it's un uncommonly mild for November, um, it is still like fairly chilly. This stuff solidifies below 16 degrees and it is like, it's probably around 10, 11 degrees today, something like that. Um, but that's enough for this to solidify. So I'm not quite sure what my game plan is gonna be for that. I might go turn my car on once I've done clipped him. Done clipped him? My goodness, did any of my brain cells come out with me today? Once I've done clipped him. I'm a really intelligent person, people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, once I've finished clipping him, it sounds slightly better, I think I'm gonna turn my car on um, and put the heating on full blast, like maybe put it down in the footwell or something and I'll stick it under there and that'll warm it up enough to turn it back into liquid. Because he desperately needs his anti-itchy bath, don't you, Blue? Yes. Yeah, you've got an itchy bit there, haven't you? Yeah, I can see where you've been rubbing it, mate. Oh, is that good? Yeah, we'll make you comfy again. And then you've got a nice clean rug to go on you, okay? I have to say, for a horse who's done no work this year, who's been lame. So we went off lame twice, mystery lameness at the beginning of the year, followed by a split heel bulb. So we had two bouts of lameness off work, and then he's had two bouts of laminitis, which have resulted in, I don't know, three, four months of box rest, something like that. Given all of that, he's looking pretty damn good. Like, he's looking really well. Like, he's possibly looking a little bit too well. Like, to be fair, he hasn't got nowhere near as much fat on him as he did have. He's still got good coverage. Like, honestly, he could probably do with being a little bit leaner. But, um, yeah, he's a hell of a lot better than he was. Like, he's so difficult trying to keep the weight off of him. He is such a good doer. Like he is a crazy good doer. Um, and yeah, but anyway, up here, he's feeling like he's got no fat up on his shoulders. He's got none here. It is kind of just all around here, but I can quite comfortably feel his ribs now. Like you can't see them, they're covered, but you can feel them, whereas you couldn't before. He's lost loads of fat up here. Like this is all gone. He had like a proper rain gully before, like a really deep rain gully. So that's all gone. Um, so you're doing good, aren't you? I'm actually I'm really impressed with how well you're looking. Apart from all your scabby bits and your mohawk. Yeah, look at that. Mother was not pleased with that. That's why we have to clip you because mother's not happy with the mohawk, mate. If we're very lucky, we might be able to get him out to some shows early next year, like some in-hand shows. It'd be so nice to get him out somewhere. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, all going well. Anyway, I'm gonna finish clipping him and then we're gonna give him a really good slosh wash, get him all comfy. And then we'll get him all rugged up and hopefully give you less of a grumpy boy then. Right, I have a problem. My clipper batter has just died and um, it turns out that our spare clipper battery that's been a bit glitchy for a couple of years now uh, is completely dead. Uh, it doesn't appear to function at all anymore. It's so itchy, all blue. So I need to go and charge, oh dear. I need to go charge my clippers because um, I'm out of juice, I'm done. Oh, you're so itchy. Oh, I'm sorry, Blue, we were nearly there. 
oh baby but what i am gonna do is i am gonna give him a really quick wash um i might just give him a hose off actually tia that's not the best idea he's fidgety he might stand on you huh i might just give him a hose off just to like settle his skin down a bit and then once i finish clipping him later i can give him his slosh wash then and hopefully he'll be really comfy um so yeah just give him a quick hose go home and charge my batteries and hopefully if my brain functions i will remember to put the camera back up later on once i've finished him and we can show you the finished result i mean it'll kind of look like this but neater and on both sides and with these bits done won't it yes okay let's get you all cooled down he's so hot like honestly like the amount of heat coming off of him is unbelievable like he's such a warm horse you're just so hot aren't you hey eh? he's a toasty boy right Oh, that's got to feel so nice. That must feel so much better, Mr. Blueberry. Even better once we get the other side off, wouldn't it, mate? He's just like, yeah, I don't care what you're doing. I've got green stuff. I'm taking full advantage. Yes, sneaky green snack. It's fine. A little bit's fine. we just got to make sure you don't do what you did a couple of months ago and gorge yourself, huh? Right. All right, I know you've had enough. Believe me, I've had enough of you as well, troublemaker. Oh, you're a difficult beast, aren't you, huh? So, <laughs> it's dark now, people. Um, so yeah, those old batteries we've got take quite a long time to charge. It wasn't fully charged. Um, I just kind of went with what I could get in the end because I just wanted to get this done. Annoyingly, I have not got this done. Um, he is being very difficult. He is over this. You're over this, aren't you, Blue? You're being a pain in the butt. He keeps fidgeting, swinging his backside around onto me. He keeps lashing out with his front legs. He keeps cow kicking. He's just being a royal pain in the backside. Um, as you can see, I've not finished the lines. He's really choppy and hacky as well, because like I said, where he keeps fidgeting, and doing stuff like this, only usually more aggressively. I know you're itchy, dude. I'm trying to help you. I am trying to help. And he also kept turning around so that the side I was trying to clip was away from the light, which also made things challenging. So I dread to think what I'm going to find when I look at him tomorrow in the daylight. I think we're going to be doing um, quite a bit of tidying up, but at least he should be more comfortable now. He's not sweaty. Um, I've put some stuff on all of those scabs. Um, and yeah, there's some, you can see even up here, like there's like there's little bits like this all over his body. I think he's just really scabby and fungusy at the moment. I think that's why he's so itchy. Um, but anyway, this will help him. He looks a mess. I seem to be doing really badly at the clipping this year. Like I keep doing really dodgy half clips and not finishing them. I finished that leg though. Look, that leg's got a neat finish. And actually that butt cheek as a whole looks quite tidy. It's just, we won't talk about the other side of him. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Quit it, stop it, you. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. It's dark, I wanna go home. <laughs> I wanna have a bath because I'm itchy. I'm just gonna get his rug on, get him out. Give him a day to get over the trauma of, you know, having his bedtime routine change. I think that's why he's upset because he would normally be eating his hay now and instead he stood here with me hacking bits of his hair off. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to go over and have a bath.